Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about drugstore makeup. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think are some of the best, newest drugstore releases on the market. We have some really good products to talk about. I'm very, very excited. Grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into it. <laughs> Let's start off with the brows. I love fluffy brows. Every time I get on TikTok, I always see a lot of people talking about this particular brow product. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up. Let me get it and see if this product is actually as good as what they're saying. The products I'm talking about is the Ardell Brow Glue. This is supposed to give you an instant lamination lift. I am not kidding when I tell you this is the stickiest, stickiest brow glue I have ever used and i mean that in the best way possible it dries down and it does not leave your brows like crunchy and hard now this is a white brow glue which kind of scared me okay when i first tried it i was like this is this is not gonna work i will say the applicator the applicator is not my favorite i don't really like the applicator when i tell you this brow glue literally gives you that fluffy brow effect and it dries so fast. This is a product I definitely recommend working very fast with. You know how sometimes you use a brow product, try to go over it with your brow pencil and it's still wet? Well, this dries completely and my brow pencils go on so beautifully. I am not kidding when I tell you this is like a super hold brow glue. Y'all know Ardell is known for all of their lash products, lash glue, all of that. This is something else, but I really, really love this product and it's so affordable. I think it's like $7. It's like eight, $7 on Amazon. You like that fluffy brow effect and you don't want your brows to go anywhere. This is the product for you. This will get you right. Next product I wanted to talk about are these two primers from CoverGirl. CoverGirl launched a lot of new primers. There's literally a primer for everyone. These are the two specifically I wanted to rave about. The first one I wanted to talk about is the Sticky Grip Primer. So basically this is their take on a sticky gripping primer. One thing I love about this primer is that it is, it kind of has like a gel consistency to it, but when you apply it to the skin, it's so easy to blend out. You know how sometimes you go on with like the e.l.f. power grip or, you know, the milk hydro grip? It kind of starts getting tacky when you first start blending it in. But this, you have playtime with this primer to really blend it in and smooth it out so that it's applied evenly. And then once it starts to dry down, you start to get that slight tacky grip. It's not as tacky as, you know, the power grip primer or the milk hydro grip. I like this one and I feel like if you don't like a super tacky primer, you might really like this one from CoverGirl. I also feel like this is a very hydrating primer as well. It's just as hydrating as like a serum, I feel like. It just leaves your skin feeling really, really hydrated and cooling. I think this is a great alternative primer for someone who wants that effect that a gripping primer does, but you don't really want it to be super tacky. Now the other primer is the Velvet Blur Primer and this does exactly what it says. It it blurs the skin over, it smooths it out, and kind of just creates a nice blank canvas. I really like the effect of this primer. It kind of reminds me of my favorite primer, which is the Cali Ray. And I just like how smooth this looks on the skin. You see an immediate effect. It really does look like a filter kind of primer. The Velvet Skin Primer also has niacinamide, and the Tacky Primer has vitamin C in it, which is really nice added benefits they put in these two primers. But I think these are really amazing and they're so affordable for CoverGirl. CoverGirl is usually up there in price, but these are like $12.99 each, which, hey, pretty, pretty nice. Now, I have to talk about this right here. This is kind of new-ish, but it is the Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid. This is beautiful. If you like a glass-like kind of look onto the skin, this is a beautiful, beautiful glowy product. I know we have a lot of glowy base products out. This one is by far my favorite because I love that this is one of those glowy products where you can see it through your foundation. Once you apply all of your products, you still see this product peeking through. And I really, really love that. I feel like with other glowy base products I've tried, I really don't see like that glow peeking through once I apply my foundations. But this, you can definitely see this. And I also love that it doesn't really have much of a base product. Yes, these are tinted, but really it just blends into the skin and just looks like glass. And I love it. Definitely one of the more affordable ones at the drugstore, but it is such a good, 
good product. I have to talk about these cream bronzers from Milani. This is such a nice formula. I have the shade Mocha Moment. Now this shade for me is more of like a contour, so I like to just keep this shade strictly on my cheeks. And it does have a more soft matte formula, which gorgeous. I love, I love, I love. I would love to see some more warmer undertones because a lot of the shades do kind of lean more contoury, but this is a great formula at the drugstore. Highly, highly recommend this. If you ever come across them, they are amazing. Okay, blush. Now, there have been a lot of new blush releases on the market, but the one newer blush release that has really stood out to me is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blushes. So I have this shade on today. This is the shade Always Vibrant. It is a really beautiful, beautiful pink blush I love that this gives me more like baby doll kind of vibes and it's such a buildable blush it's also a very smooth formula it doesn't feel chalky or look chalky on the skin I don't feel like this is one of those powder formulas that just sits on top of the skin it kind of like meshes with your skin and it looks really beautiful and soft and kind of airbrushed as well I feel like the drugstore doesn't have that many powder blushes we see a lot more creams and liquids but when it comes to powder I think elf definitely killed this one it hasn't come to Ulta yet. You can get this on the e.l.f. website. I definitely wanted to rave about these blushes in today's video. This has truly been a drugstore standout recently. I want to talk about a very unexpected product for me, but it is very, very good. And if you're in the market for a nice, blurring, soft, airbrushed kind of pink powder, you're going to love this one from Beauty Creations. This is the new Pink Cloud Setting Powder. I love to use this powder whenever I wear pink blushes because I love the effect that it gives. And I just love how it kind of just blends everything together and just creates this seamless look. Today, I went very monochromatic, but I am loving it. I'm loving how the under eyes and the blush just melt together so seamlessly. I also feel like this is a pink powder that really does add brightness under the eyes as well. I don't own very many products from Beauty Creations, but it definitely is a brand I'm on the lookout for, and I definitely want to try more products from them. They are super affordable. You can find them, I believe, in HEB if you're in Texas. This is such a great pink powder, and it's only $9 too. Super, super affordable. And if you're someone with a deeper complexion and you really haven't found the best pink powder, you know, definitely check this one out because it's also going to add that brightness as well. Let's talk lip products. I think when it comes to lip products, the drugstore exceeds my expectations. There's one lip liner in particular I really wanted to include in this video, and it is the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Lip Liner. This is a really nice, refreshing lip liner. It's not one of those lip liners that's gonna sting and burn the lips. It really just feels like a cooling, pepperminty kind of sensation. And I love it. It just feels like I just ate a fresh piece of gum. One thing about it, these lip liners last a very long time. I don't know what they put in this formula, but they last a very long time. You don't get the most precise application with these, but the longevity makes up for it because Listen, you want a long lasting lip liner? Definitely check these out from ColourPop. I also love this shade of brown. I feel like it's the perfect, perfect shade of brown. It literally goes with just about every single lip product that I pair with it. It's amazing. This right here, oh, this formula I love. This is the new e.l.f. Cosmetics Jelly Pop Lip Oil. So this is their first time coming out with a more shimmering lip oil with a different scent. This one doesn't have that pepperminty scent and feel. It just smells like fresh watermelon. It smells very, very good. I feel like the sparkle is pretty subtle on the lips, but I really, really like this. I hope that this is kind of a sign. I kind of hope that they see how well this has been received and give us more shimmering kind of lip oils because I would be all over that. I feel like the summer is the perfect time to come out with this, but if you're in the market for a new lip oil and if you're wondering if this one is any good, I'm here to tell you it is very, very good. It has a nice fresh watermelon kind of scent and the sparkle you can definitely see it when the light hits it but it's not one of those sparkles where you can feel it on the lips because no one wants to feel their sparkle on the lips it's very very comfortable very juicy it's the same formula we know and love just with a little bit of sparkle and a different scent. We gotta talk about this mascara because I am very picky when it comes to mascaras, but I recently tried this one from Wet n Wild. This is the So Defined Volumizing and Defining Mascara. And at first when I saw this wand, I was like, am I gonna like this? Am I gonna like this? But I actually really like this mascara. I think it is very good. And we all know that Wet n Wild is unbelievably affordable. It's one of the most affordable 
affordable drugstore brands, you know, out there. And I like this mascara a lot for an everyday mascara. I don't know about you, but I kinda, sorta have an everyday mascara when I'm not really trying to do too much with my makeup. I just want, you know, a brow on, some mascara, and I'm out the door with a little lip oil on. This is a great everyday mascara. I find myself having to build it up with two layers to get the effect that I want, but I'm okay with that. That doesn't really bother me. This definitely does give me curl in volume, which I really like. It doesn't really give much length, which is why I feel like it's great for everyday, but volume and curl, Absolutely. I definitely just wanted to shout this product out in today's video because I think it is a great mascara at the drugstore. And we all know that I'm picky when it comes to mascaras. This is a face brush set from Morphe. This is called the Shaping Essentials Brush Set. This is one of the best brush sets that Morphe has ever come out with. And that is a lot to say when I tell you that every single tool in this brush set is so useful. There's some brush sets you use every brush, but like one or two. And I'm like, what's the point? What is the point? This brush set from Morphe has five different brushes. You can use this whole brush set for an entire face. You get four face brushes and this sponge, which I have used so much, but I love it because it kind of has, it kind of has like that curve to it as well. I used this brush right here for my blush. I love how this brush just packs on the blush and just literally fits perfectly on the cheeks. It's the perfect, perfect powder blush brush. This one you can use for concealer, eye primer, uh, you know, literally anything that you want, detail work, it's the best. This is a big fluffy brush, which you can use it for your bronzer, your powder, literally anything that you want, but it's perfect. Then we have this one, which I like to use for my bronzer and contour. I love how this one just fits in the cheek, and I love how it just blends out all of the powder products. It is such a good brush set. I already knew when I was getting all my products together for this video, this brush set was going to be in this video because it is such a good, good drugstore set. I know some people might think Morphe is not really drugstore, but they got some drugstore prices, okay? And I do think this is pretty affordable. It's pretty, pretty affordable and it's on the drugstore side at Ulta, so I'm counting it as drugstore. Those are my thoughts on some of the newer drugstore releases that I think are truly worth the money. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about these drugstore products? I have really been into drugstore makeup lately, and I do hope this video was helpful in some way. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.